Okay, let's talk a little bit about what happened at the Super Classico. Uh, <laughs> or, sorry, I say the Coppa Libertadores return leg. Uh, let me say up front if there ever was a reason to have the final in one neutral side, that's the one. So, what happened? Um, we had already the first uh, final postponed by a day. Uh, simple reason, it was raining, the pitch was underwater, the, everything was underwater there. And I was actually amazed how well uh, they could get the pitch ready a day later. Um, I guess it's summer time, of course it's, you know, it's getting summer time in Buenos Aires. So uh, maybe that helped, but that was already a little bit of a downer. Because I was so set on watching that one initially, and then I had to, yeah. Okay, it was you. It, it was Juve Milan. Uh, uh, Milan Juve. Uh, a game I was, despite being a Milan fan, not looking forward to because I know exactly knew exactly how this is gonna go. Uh, and it ended 2-2. Was a game where River, I think, was a, a, little, a slightly the better team and Boca. Um, got the lucky punches over all, all, all around. Probably should have could have won it three two easily. But um, um, the keeper of River, I don't now remember the name, he was the keeper for the last two World Cup games of Argentina. Uh, he made a mistake at the 1 0, but then saved it very well. So 2 uh, 2 probably was, the, was some of the just result. Uh, and let me also preface this uh, between the two. I would like to have both jerseys, but I am more of a poker guy. Um, and it has also to do with Maradona. Uh, I don't like Maradona as a coach and so on, but there is something about Mar Maradona and his first personality that I just adore. I, I, I like his fuck you attitude, in a way. Sorry about that. But yeah, that's something. I mean, I, I liked him as a player although I didn't see too much but I knew that uh, I knew this is he's, he's a great player uh, but also that he doesn't give a beep 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 uh, about what people think think about him that's something that I I don't know I like I, I, I like that he's not this squeaky clean uh, person that the modern stars are I like my stars to be a little bit edgy so in that sense, uh, yeah. Maradona I like and Boca is Maradona's team and I think that's why I like Boca. Um, I also honestly, the River jerseys are classic but there's something I like the colors of the Boca jersey better. That's the other. But yeah, I think I'm really more of a Boca guy and uh, despite them once winning against Milan and, uh, World Club Championship, but then they uh, it turned, was turned, turned, turned around as well then, uh, in 2007. So what happened uh, in the return leg? First of all, Boca, there are no away fans allowed, so Boca at their final training got a farewell by 50,000 fans that just showed up uh, to wish the team farewell. This shows you everything about that rivalry uh, and I think that River would have probably done the same I mean the Boca La Bombonera is the better stadium of the two on the way to the stadium uh, I don't even want to say they were River played hooligans although I would think so uh, pelted the bus with stones with bottles with everything that you have there and of course there was a police escort for the team but the, uh, there was no security measures I mean it was basically open streets and they could uh, haul it at the bus no uh, decent security measures really going on there uh, what can you do so uh, the bus is shattered um, the police uh, had to step in. I mean, windows broke, glass splinters went at the eye of poker players, and to, then to make things even worse, the police to kind of uh, take control um, uses tear gas. And of course, tear gas go get in, 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 into the bus, affects the poker players upon arrival. You could see players vomiting, uh, they had to be hospitalized. 
and through all this the game was scheduled uh, to be played at 9 I think it was 45 minutes before they finally decided to postpone that game um, Conmebol really wanted to have this game because this was their marquee game and they had the perfect slot there was yeah there was Atleti against Barcelona but uh, in a way a worldwide all the audience I mean this was really a game that everyone in the world could watch um, and with everyone in the world I mean the two biggest markets which is Europe and South America even North America can watch uh, you had the perfect conditions and you wanted to get this game through and there's also some pressure because in a month you need to send a team to the Club World Cup However, I think Boca clearly said we cannot play this game. I mean, come on, we were just under, 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 under attack. This is not a fair contest. And River seemingly also agreed to that because, I mean, even if they would have won, this would have been such a tainted triumph for them that what can you do? So, uh, clearly, uh, the game needed, needed, needed to be postponed. They postponed it for a day. I'm sorry, there were two players shown uh, with bandaged eyes um, and finally someone had the good measure to say this is not an even contest, uh, even if you play the day later and with all security measures out there, um, we need to make sure that this is uh, play or put fairly. Uh, I think it's the right decision. I'm a little bit bummed because I really wanted to see that game. I think the, the atmosphere in the stadium in Argentina, this is something you don't see anywhere else uh, in, in the world. It's super special. Uh, so yeah, for that reason I really uh, would, would wish to watch the game and I was really looking forward to it. I even wanted to watch a replay when I saw, okay, this is Sunday, what did I miss? And then I looked up, yeah, it was cancelled. Uh, and I saw for what. Um, there is a lack of will in Argentina to control their hooligans, because the hooligans uh, go really high up into government and so on. And I think the current uh, Prime Minister of Argentina even has a Boca, was Boca president and he's a rough and tough person. Uh, so you can actually see that uh, the clubs themselves are basically at the whim of the Barra Bravas. Cannot really do much about it. Uh, and you know the authorities don't have as much power against it it's a disgrace for argentina gotta say it all uh, in a uh, in a way it's a disgrace for Commonwealth to not have a better uh CHC situation if this was played on a neutral ground i don't think you have those these troubles although the two you would have have to have big measures to keep the two rivals apart uh, but still that it boils over in such a bad fashion uh, is mind-boggling to me uh, and that you cannot the biggest game of the year yes we had this in Europe in 85 right? and the game went ahead uh, there was violence but nowadays it's unimaginable and I'm afraid and knowing South America uh, a little bit I mean you saw that after the 2014 work, I was really hoping that the, uh, for Brazil after that disaster, uh, cooler minds will prevail and you will make a complete new build up. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Uh, I think Brazil missed a big chance there to get rid of all the corruption. But everything is so corrupt there. Um, the same goes for Argentina. And common ball. That's UEFA might lose some power to the clubs, but UEFA has is really strict on that. And I mean, yes, you had some problems with Croatia, but you know the punishments are swift. I honestly, if if this was played in Europe, I would think this game is gonna uh, be played the final in front of closed doors or put to a neutral venue, let's say Montevideo, somewhere there. Uh, I don't know, I think they, they want to play this in the Monumental. It 
will be better for the atmosphere, uh, that's for sure. Is it the right call? You just gotta make sure that the teams can arrive there and not be killed. And we had, we had a tear gas attack for poker fans on river fans uh, at the uh, Copa Libertadores clash. So it's not the first time. It's just something I don't know what to say, honestly. But yeah, that's that. It is uh, a shame that it cannot happen. I really wished it would have happened. This is a game that I've been looking forward to a lot. And I cannot... I cannot really fathom it, but I do have some understanding. I read a lot about Argentinians, uh, or Argentinian soccer over the summer, so I, I'm not surprised. But it's still a little bit unfathomable. Let me know what you thought. If you're from Argentina, I would like to see, uh, get your insight as well. I'm a total outsider here. I have a love for Argentinian soccer, especially for the national team. But you know, I recognize that Boca River is the rivalry. Uh, and that's why I'm excited about it. But yeah, any thoughts or any more information, I uh, would highly appreciate it. Give me Hello again, um, I just had one final thought when I said in the video on the Super Classico that it's unfathomable how it's comable not uh, immediately postponing um, that. And I poured some praise on UEFA and then I remembered that just a uh, year and a half ago Dortmund at home was um, the victim of an attack. They have to play a return match against Monaco at home, which of course they didn't want to play. And yeah, UEFA is in no way better. Uh, I know they had some trouble also with scheduling and so on. Um, maybe the injuries were not as bad, uh, but you know, there was a bomb going off next to the bus. Might not have been the exact same thing whatsoever, but um, I want to take back my praise for UEFA. I think that Western Europe or mostly, I think uh, there would be maybe the security measures would be better, but I don't want to say that it would be that much better in Europe and if I offended anyone. I'm sorry for that, um, my mistake. And uh, that was a good thing that it took longer for me to get to work. Uh, hour and 10 minutes so I had a little bit time to think but 25 minutes to think about that and I got that so again sorry for that uh, UEFA is not better it's still an embarrassment that, um, that you couldn't get this game going and that you couldn't provide the security if you know already that it's a high risk game anyway um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video let me know anything or any any thoughts of yours on that and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these or my jersey reviews or anything else. Up until then, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.